What's going on, Bully World? This is Zeke, BBA Television. Uh, yesterday, I did a video uh, basically talking about uh, the things that I look for when determining whether or not a dog is of show quality. Uh, well, today, I want to do a video uh, determining whether or not a dog is an American Bully. Basically, I wanted to break down breed type. The American Bully's breed type is there to di differentiate this breed of dog from the American Pit Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, and believe it or not, the Bulldog. Yesterday, the stuff that I uh, listed were all things that were based around structure. For me, when I'm looking to determine whether a dog is show quality, structure is first. Because structure to me uh, is a, an expression of health and an expression of, of good breeding. Well, the second thing that is very important on the judge's mind when determining whether or not a dog should win in the show ring is breed type. It's all those qualities that, that differentiate the American bully from any other breed of dog. Uh, the first thing that I look at is the short muzzle. This dog is not a pit bull. The muzzle should be shorter than the standard American Pit Bull Terrier or the standard Amstaff. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna look at is his head. How big is the head? The standard calls for a massive head, large blocky head. Uh, the next thing I look for is the height of the dog. The American Bully standard calls for the um, for American Bully male to be between 17 inches and 20 inches, and American Bully female between 16 inches and 19 inches. After height, I look at the bone on the dog. How, how thick are the bones? Thick bone is a big part of breed type for the American Bully. Again, this is not an American Pit Bull Terrier. The dog has to be thicker and denser than the American Pit Bull Terrier. The dog should be short back, compact. Um, the dog, according to the ABKC standard, should basically be a square. After checking out the dog's back, then I'm on to his neck. The neck should be thick, very muscular. And then finally, the last thing I look at um, when trying to determine whether or not a dog fits the breed type is the dog's rear. The dog's rear should be well muscled, powerful, and should definitely be in balance with his front assembly. Uh, so there you guys have it, breed type. Understand, breed type and dog structure are two different things. Dog structure is something that every breed of dog should have. All breeds have very similar structural requirements. Breed type are those characteristics that define breeds, that makes, makes one breed different than another breed. Uh, so that's it. Again, guys, this is not the end-all, be-all to understanding breed type. If you watch this video and if you're interested, hopefully it's piqued your interest, but please do your research. The internet is a wonderful place filled with information. You guys, if you have any more questions, feel, feel free to comment. If you would, please like and share this video. I appreciate you guys' time. Talk to you soon.